Physics lecture number one, displacement and average velocity. Displacement is the change in position of a moving object. You find displacement by drawing a straight line from the object's starting point to its new location after it's moved. Suppose an ant is walking in a straight line across the edge of a ruler. He starts at the 6 centimeter mark and ends up at the 14 centimeter, centimeter mark. What is the ant's displacement? So here's a picture. We have an ant at the 6 centimeter mark and he walks in a straight line until he reaches the 14 centimeter mark. What is the displacement of our ant? Well, displacement is the final position uh, minus the initial position. So if we have change in x, that's the displacement, minus the f equals the final position minus the initial position. Uh, in our picture here, the ant ends up at 14 centimeters. That's the final position. And then um, the initial position is 6 uh, centimeters. So xf is 14, xi is 6, 14 minus 6 is 8 centimeters. So the ant's displacement is 8 centimeters. Now this triangle right here means change. So triangle X means change in the horizontal position. Since the ant moves horizontally, uh, we use X. If the ant was moving up or down, we'd use triangle Y, which means change in the vertical position. So this matches the X and Y axis of a graph. Now you remember for most graphs, the X axis is the horizontal one and the Y axis is the vertical one. So for horizontal motion, we'll use X, and for vertical motion, uh, we'll use Y. Now suppose our ruler is oriented vertically and the ant walks down the ruler from the 10 centimeter mark to the 3 centimeter mark. So here's a picture of that. We've got our ant at the 10 centimeter mark on the ruler. The ant is walking straight downward until it reaches the 3 centimeter mark. So the displacement of the ant can be calculated using uh, triangle Y equals yf minus yi. yf is the final vertical position of the ant. yi is the initial uh, vertical position. Well, the initial vertical position is 10 centimeters and the final vertical position is 3 centimeters. So it's going to be 3 centimeters, the final position, minus 10 centimeters, the initial position. And we get uh, delta y. Triangle is also the Greek letter delta. Triangle y, delta y is negative seven uh, centimeters. So the negative sign in front of the seven centimeters indicates that the displacement is in a downward direction. If you write triangle Y equals plus seven centimeters, uh, the positive sign says that the object is moving up or north. <coughs> Excuse me. Likewise, if you write uh, delta X equals negative seven centimeters, uh, you're indicating that the object is moving horizontally to the left. If delta x is plus 7 centimeters, you're indicating that the object is moving horizontally to the right or eastward. Uh, displacement and distance are not necessarily the same thing. Uh, displacement is the distance between where you started and where you ended up. So for example, suppose the ant started walking at point A, reached point B, walked to point C, then returned to point A. So let me draw you a picture of that. The ant starts at point A, walks to point B, which is five centimeters away, then turns and walks to point C, which is uh, three centimeters away, and then returns back to uh, point A, which is four centimeters away. So this is the path our little ant is uh, taking. So the question we ask is, if it follows this path, what is the displacement of our ant? So what is the displacement of the ant? Well, the answer is zero. Since the ant started and ended up at point A, the distance between where it started and where it ended is zero. And while the displacement is zero, we can say that the total distance it walked is 5 plus 3 plus 4, or 12 centimeters. So, <clears throat> from this diagram, since the ant started here and ended up here, displacement is zero. But the total distance it walked was 5 plus 3 plus 4. All right? So, displacement and distance are not necessarily the same thing all the time. Speed is the uh, displacement of the object uh, divided by the time it takes the object to move. So speed is displacement 
divided by time. For example, if a car covers a displacement of 12 meters in 4 seconds, its speed is displacement over time, 12 meters is the displacement, 4 seconds is the time it takes to cover that displacement, and 12 divided by 4 gives me 3 meters per second. Now most of the time we use meters as our unit of length and seconds as our unit of time. Uh, thus the common unit for speed is meters per second. Velocity is the speed and direction of the moving object. If the car in the previous example is moving north, then its velocity is 3 meters per second north. Now, in other words, velocity and speed are often used interchangeably, but velocity requires both speed and direction. Velocity is calculated the same way that speed is calculated, displacement divided by time. Uh, unfortunately, different physics texts use different letters to uh, represent displacement. Now, some books use the letter S to represent displacement. Uh, others use the letter D, which is problematic since D can also represent density. Now, I'll be using uh, the letter X to represent displacements that move horizontally and Y for displacements that move vertically. When displacement is divided by time and a direction is given, uh, we have average velocity. Now, sometimes average velocity is shown as the letter V with a line above it, and subscripts X or Y are to indicate a vertical or horizontal motion. It looks like this. So V with a line over it means average velocity. X indicates that it's average velocity in a horizontal direction. Anytime you draw a line over um, a variable, you're indicating that it's uh, an average. So if I write um, something like W with a line over it, so that's the average of W. So that's what the uh, line notation means. And sometimes I'll get lazy and I'll just write the letter V when I really mean uh, average velocity that. All right. So, average velocity is displacement divided by time. And if displacement is horizontal, we use delta x. Um, delta x is sometimes calculated from final position minus initial position. Likewise, average velocity in a vertical uh, direction is going to be delta y over t. And delta y is going to be the final minus the initial uh, positions on the vertical uh, axis. Uh, most of the time, delta x or delta y is given to you, and you don't have to calculate it. So this part isn't used very often. Usually you just use the delta x over t or delta y over t. So let's try a problem. A rocket travels 370 meters to the west in five seconds. Find its velocity. All right. So it's moving west, so that's a horizontal uh, direction. Average velocity is displacement over time, so it's going to be delta x over time. Um, it moves 370 meters to the west, and you might remember that on a compass, we've got north, south, east, and west. So if you're traveling to the west, you're traveling in a negative direction. So that's why we write negative 370 meters uh, divided by time. So negative 370 meters divided by 5 seconds gives you negative 74 meters per second. So the velocity is 70 meters per second to the west, and if you don't add the words to the west, you would have to put a negative sign in front of it to indicate uh, the direction. So you should write uh, Vx equals negative 74 meters per second. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been physics lecture number one, displacement and average velocity.